Hello guys, welcome to my video series today to talk about Microsoft Semantic Kernel. In this video, I'm going to focus on how to connect Google Gemini A model using Microsoft Semantic Kernel. Let's start how to implement this feature. The first step to connect Google Gemini A model, you need API key and which model you, you want to connect. So this information is needed. To create the API key, if you go to Google A Studio Google.com app, the left side you can see there is an option called get API key. If you go to here and there is an option called create API key, you have to create the new key. And check the model if you go to this option create new chart prompt. In the chart prompt, the left right side you can see the model. In the model at the moment two type of model available. One is Gemini IO Pro and Gemini 1.5 Pro. At the moment, 1.5 Pro is a preview model, so I, I use this model, 1.0 Pro model. And if you go to the get code option, for example, this is Python code base, so you just keep down, and here you can see the complete model name. So model name Gemini iPhone 1.0 iPhone Pro. So this is our model name, and the API key which we created using this get API key option. So our API key and the model name is ready. Next move on to Visual Studio. The Visual Studio, the first step you have to install the latest version of Microsoft Semantic Kernel. At the moment the latest version 1.9.0. I installed this one and you have to use the Microsoft Semantic Kernel connector.google. So this connector you have to use to connect Google Gemini model. At the moment, this is alpha model. This is not released, but still we can use it to test our application. So I used uh, this 1.9.0 alpha model. Both NuGet package version has been installed and go to the main program. Main program here I have created the only the kernel object, create builder kernel object. I have created the next step I should connect Google Gemini model for that I have to use the function called add Google a Gemini chat completion model here we have to pass the model ID and API key the model ID and API key I stored in my config class so I just call my config class dot model ID and config.api key I have to pass. Once you added this function, you can see there is a warning pop-up. So we have to disable this warning. The disable SK experimental. So that's the reason the short exp and 0070. To disable this warning, here I am adding this disable warning option uh, warning disable sk exp 0070 so here i added to disable this warning so our warning is gone next we have to connect google gemini model for that we have to use chat completion service. So here I use where where chat service equal to kernel dot get required service I chat completion service. This we have to use our service object is ready. Next, we have to pass the message to this service. So the service connected to Google Gemini model and get the result for us. So for that, I just pass where response equal to await chat service dot get chat message content async. This function we have to use. The first argument is a chat history. In the chat history, we have to assign or we have to pass our message to the chat history. 
the second argument is a configuration argument so this is a weight so first step i have to convert this function to a sync function should be a sync task static sync yeah so here the warning is gone so i need a chart history class where chart history equal to new of chart history if you want you can assign the system message or you can just leave it at the moment i just leave it because it's, this is a just demo purpose so i don't want to specify the uh, system message so here chat history dot add user message so my query is what is google gemini this is my query here i pass the chat history information the second argument is the configuration settings so here we have to assign the max token temperature what are the other parameters required that we have to assign it to this settings for that here i am going to create the settings class open ai prompt execution settings so settings this one here as in the max token let's say 100 is a max token that's it so here we pass the settings once we get the response it will return the list of output so here we can check the condition if response dot count or not null like this count greater than 0 print the result console dot right line a response first index result content that's it otherwise just console dot read so it's super simple use the api to connect the gemini model and pass your query with the required arguments finally you get the response we run this application and see the result based on our query so started here here we get the response so google gemini is a programmatic some information is coming that's fine so here the idea is how to connect google gemini model using microsoft semantic kernel